Next thing I want to show you here is obviously your desktops. You have five desktops, uh, basically in Android uh, 4.0. Maybe future Android 4.0 devices you might get more, but for right now you have five and you have five to choose from. And um, you can customize these in any way you really want, adding widgets. See, we added a clock widget here, and we'll add another widget, 20s blank ones here. And the way you want to do that, not that way, that was the old way of doing it. The way you want to do that is open up the app drawer, which is right here, this little icon opens up your apps. And it's pretty much this is where all your apps are, and you, and you used to be able to have to scroll up and down in the stock versions of Android. Now you go from left to right to see our applications. You can also go right here to widgets. This is where you can add different widgets. Let's say we want to add a um, say we want to add these this uh, bookmarks widget right here so we'll just tap and hold and we'll add that bookmark widget right there and we can choose what account we'll just say the local account for now and you can see you get your bookmarks right there what's also nice is you can you can you kind of scroll through them like this you can also resize these widgets as well too by just tapping and holding and you see the little diamonds that are around it and you just tap those diamonds oh, let's try that again and you touch those diamonds and drag along and you can expand it out as you can see right there and let's say you don't want this widget at all easily remove it just like that you can also put any shortcuts that you want on the desktop as well too so if you go back to your app tray here and you go and you say well I want Google Earth I can just put it just like that now it's on your desktop there which is nice and cool desktop to home screen is pretty much you know they're, they're both the same thing what I'm talking about as far as um, these different home screens or different desktops either one pretty much means the same thing another cool thing you can do is you can create folders within a group of icons and that's really easy to do let's say for some reason I want settings, Google Earth, Speed Test and Cody the game to all be in one folder all I need to do is hold down on one icon put it on top of another and it automatically creates that folder and then from there I just drag the other icon into that folder and you can see it's building up there and now when you tap on that icon it brings up all those uh, all those particular shortcuts within that folder and you can actually name the folder if you want to we'll just name it uh, test easy simple name there done and you can see there pretty easy and you can tap on it like that and let's say you want to remove it one you could do you can just go up here to remove or if you just want to take specific applications out you can just drag the icons out and once you've sort of dragged them all out it'll remove that folder from there another thing that you can also do to customize here is right here at the bottom and, and sort of your quick access that are on every single one of your desktops here as you can see this is always there and let's say you want particular applications uh, they are available to you at all times no matter which um, home screen that you're on so what you can do is you can actually change these out let's say okay I want to my messaging to be here but instead I want my this folder that Google made for me it has all the Google services in it and I want that right there and just easily just drag it in and now you can access it just like that and you can change it back if you want to you can rearrange these all around as you want to say you want this here you want to put that there you want to put that there you can create a folder just like that even within there and you can pull it out and put it right back over there just like that so that's pretty cool uh, to have